Hey up, welcome back to the Menadu channel. My name's Ollie and on this channel we do field recordings and sound design and a little bit of traveling now. And I thought I would take the time to show you my recording rig, well, my main recording rig, because I've been getting quite a few questions about it. So, where shall I start? I'll start off with the recorder. For the main recorder that I use, it's the Zoom F6. I really like this recorder because it's got six inputs. The main problem I have with my Tascam DR100 Mark III, really long-winded name, is the fact that it can only record two channels at once. That's two channels in the XLR and two channels on the top or two channels on the Omni ones or two channels on the like electric mics. So that's my little DIY clippy ones. So with this one, it opens up a lot of doors on field recordings for some more sound design stuff. In a previous video with my rock impact video, I set up this recorder. I think I used five channels. So I had two closer up mics, the Usi Pros, and I also had two little condenser mics on the edge to pick up more of the main impact of the rocks when I was throwing them down the hill. I've also found that it's great when recording beaches or rivers, and I've done this in another video where I've used a hydrophone and the Usi Pros to record above the water splashes, and for me it creates like a really nice full body of sound. You get a nice low sub elements from the hydrophone and then you can blend it in with the Usi Pros, which are getting all the top elements. The other great thing about it is I use it as an audio interface so I can do multi-track recordings onto my laptop. Other than that, I just find it's a really super simple recorder to use. On switch is just on its side. I've already got these two set. So channels one and two set to record with the Usi Pro. So that will be phantom power on. The third channel is usually what I use for the Geophone or the Hydrophone. And yeah, I mainly just use this side, to be honest. I did have a case for it, but I don't really use that much anymore. So the next thing I've got, it looks kind of wacky on the camera, is the main part of the rig. I'm not gonna take all the credit for this design. Um, I saw a post by Colin Hunter Sound on Instagram, and he had his little tiny, I'm pretty sure they were DPA microphones, attached to some little Joby arms like this. So these are like Joby arms. They're usually on a tripod, um, three of them attached to a tripod, but you can buy them individually. So I bought a couple of the Joby arms. I then attached them to a small rig cheese plate, which is this. So it has a bunch of different threads, um, some bigger ones and some smaller ones. And I just screwed them onto either side. And this is about just over 40 centimeters. It's probably like 50 centimeters in total which is quite a nice spacing for these Omni mics. I've just got a little adapter on the end of the Joby arms, which attaches to the Usi Pro Rycote mount, the smaller one. And then I'll just show you this because I had to do a little bit of bodge to get them to stay on. So here you can see the Usi Pro attached to it. I wrapped a bit of tape around the Usi Pro because usually the clip holds it on at the end but I needed it to hold it on a little bit further back so then I could put the Rycote baseball over because it doesn't fit perfectly it's for slightly bigger mics and when I slide it on I just cover the whole of the microphone and the Rycote mount probably not the best but it keeps it from slipping off and I can just bung it in my bag and take it out of the bag really easily the next piece of the puzzle was the cable. So I was using the Usi Pro cables that came with the Usi Pros and I found that they were a little bit too short and I kept getting them really tangled up in my bag when I was trying to take it in and out of the bag really quickly. So I messaged Lom and I got a custom cable made, which is two cables in one. It's a bit like the, I'll show a picture on the screen of what they are. Um, it's a bit like that cable. It's three meters long and obviously joined together and just splits out at the end. So then I can have it attached to this the whole time. The next piece of the puzzle um, was the Ryko quick release. So I bought this because I was getting fed up of trying to spin the um, microphones onto my stand. Just makes it even quicker to set up and take your rig apart. There's a couple of cheaper options for quick release online, which I'd quite like to test out. They weren't really around when um, I purchased this one like a year and a bit ago. But yeah, 
This is perfect and it attaches to the small rig cheese plate with this little, I can't undo it, <laughs> with this little adapter which came with the Manfrotto Nanopole that I've got. So it just pops on like that, really easy and you can pop it off again like that, really quick and easy. Then the last bit of the actual rig is my Manfrotto Nanopole. So you've probably seen this on a lot of different field recording channels, free to use sounds, use it on a lot of their recordings, except I think they've changed to the Ulanzi. I don't know how to pronounce it. Um, and I saw a couple of other field recordists use it on their rigs as well, the Ulanzi one. So this one's a little bit more expensive. I've got it now, so I'm not gonna get rid of it. I don't know if it packs up as small as the Ulanzi one, so it's worth checking that one out as well. It is really handy because it's super light. I went for the carbon fiber one. If you've seen on the other channels, you know that it turns into a somewhat of a boom pole. So it just clips out at the bottom like that. And then you can clip it back in just like that. So really handy little stand and I've used it quite a lot, bashed it around quite a lot. It's been in my suitcase getting smashed around whilst I've been traveling. So yeah, pretty sturdy, pretty durable. But yeah, I'll post a picture of a slightly cheaper one on screen as well now. And a couple of the other field recordists that I've seen use it. Oh, it's in my pocket. Final bit of my main rig are these. So these are the KZ earphones, in-ear monitor sort of ones. They're really good. You don't have to have the volume very loud on your phone or the recorder. There's one little weird quirk that I have with them and I don't know if it's to do with my recorder. So if anyone else has a Zoom F6 and these KZ earphones, pop it down in the comments. I've noticed that when I have them plugged in like that, that way up, the earphones are mono. And if I twist it like that, then they're in stereo. So I don't know if my earphones are duff or there's something wrong with the F6, but yeah, that's just something I've noticed. A little bit weird, but other than that, they're really good uh, value for money. They're only about 22 pounds, 22 UK pounds. Yeah, those are my earphones, which I use for most of the recordings now. I haven't got my big bare dynamic ones and that's my setup pretty much. I hope this video has answered a couple of questions some of the community has had about my recording rig. Personally, I think it's quite an affordable one and I didn't want to bring stuff which was too expensive because I'd be afraid to get robbed or lose it or smash it up. So having something which is pretty decent so you can get really good recordings, but disposable enough in a way that you put it in harm's way to get the recordings because you don't want to have stuff where you don't want to do any of the recordings because you're too scared to smash it up or get it wet or get it broken because then you're just going to miss out on all the recordings. The main thing is getting the recording. On that note, um, I should probably sign this video off and stop waffling on. I have actually made a um, Reddit page called Field Recording Blog. I've just started posting some of my videos on there and everyone's welcome to post their videos or their blogs or things like write-ups that they've got. I might do a sound design one as well, like a little um, Reddit page, but there's already quite a few decent sound design and field recording pages out there. Uh, this is just mainly one for if people want to post up their videos and because some pages have rules where you can't post up the videos. So if you do want to put up your videos and your blogs and pictures of stuff that you've been doing, I'd love to see it. I think it's a good way to find everyone's stuff all in one place. And yeah, on that note, if you want to follow my Instagram page, I'll put it on the screen now and like and subscribe <laughs> if you thought this little rig was pretty good or helpful. I will see you in the next video and peace out. Cheers for watching.